How's it going guys? My name is Graham and this is Courier of the Crypts. Thank you to the folks over at Indie Boost for hooking me up with this one. This is by Emberheart Games. Something funny that I just found in the options here that I wanted to show to you guys is the Arachnophobia filter. If you're afraid of spiders then you'll get something less spidey. So I'm going to turn it on just to see what it possibly replaces. I don't entirely know. As far as I can tell, the gist of this game is that it's like a puzzle adventure. Uh, it has lots of secrets and achievements and things to unlock, but the main thing is the torch that you're walking around with. You have to keep that torch burning and you have to solve as much as possible before your tor torch runs out. I believe you can like rekindle it and things like that. What are you? Wait, who, what, who are you? Wait, who, what, when, where? Don't come any closer, you hood head. I don't know. I don't know if you want to go calling him that. <laughs> uh, some people take offense to that kind of language. Game over. We're bad puzzle solvers. No! Wait. I'm still alive? Or am I? This casket might as well be mine. At least I'm free to move now. I should get out of here. Whatever this place is. If only I had a torch. I can barely see anything. Oh, look, a lantern. That'll probably do justice, the way that assembled was very cool. There's no, like, stick anywhere in here that we could have just made a torch out of. I guess we'll make do with a lantern. Our hair in our little character looks much crazier than it does in our little talking portrait, I, I personally think. Like, it looks like a pretty normal standard cut, and then he looks like he just stuck his finger in a wall outlet. <laughs> <laughs> what a lovely crystal. It's so beautiful, yet so strange. I feel uneasy standing next to it. Still, it's like it wants to be picked up. Then do it! Hmm. Seems to be no repercussions whatsoever from pulling a red gem out of a pentagram. <laughs> I, I think we're, we'll be just fine. I, you're actually like lighting the way as you walk through things. Now, of course, there's not going to be any torches on the wall or anything for me to show that off on, but I'll try and keep an eye. Oh, here's a proper torch on the ground. Do we want to upgrade to the torch? Maybe that's a lateral move. Might not actually be an improvement to go lantern to torch. That's fine. We'll just keep shuffling through things. What the shit was that? That was like... There was a sound effect to go along with it, so I don't think it was a graphical glitch. I think that was actually... A real legit thing. An earthquake? Can this whole situation get even more unsettling? I should get out of here fast. I uh, can't cross the gap. You're right. We should generally just pick up the pace, though. See, there there was a tiny bit more of that glitchiness going on there for a second. What is this place, anyway? It looks like an old ruined temple. Okay, this should be the other half. Maybe it is just graphical glitches going on there, but I'm, I'm a little bit uneasy because of it. I'm not quite certain what to make of it. Hmm, sticking a red gem in the floor of the crying lava wall room. Doesn't seem like the wisest decision. There's reasons I would suspect that maybe you should immediately regret that. The giant fire demon l lava monster from hell that comes out is is one particular reason that maybe that wasn't the best course of action. Huh. I guess we curried all the crypts. Or we're just having a lovely flashback to our, our lovely home. I like the little mallard in the pond. He's very cute. Oh my, oh my, where is he now? I shouldn't be late. He shouldn't be late on his first day. Ouch! Oh, wow, wow, wow. I like the tuba, like, wom, 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 wom. Oh, there you are, young courier. Running a bit late, hmm? We are called a pony delivery service for a reason, you know? I'm sorry, master, but in my defense, it was a long trip and I needed some rest before the delivery. I'd argue you weren't technically late, you were on the premises. If we want to get into the semantics of this argument, rest. A courier is meant to travel long distances. Bah! I don't have time for excuses, so spare me. There's a letter to be delivered to a village. It's a three days walk from here. 
near the village, you'll find the famous crypts. Hand the letter to the guardian over there, and he will pay you. Crypts, you say? Why crypts? Why are they famous? What, what could be so remarkable about these particular crypts? Do you have a problem with that? Do as I say, or you'll be spending your first days in the stables instead. Yes, master. You can count on me. I will surely break the delivery record for this one. Even though I'm getting a late start on it. This is the letter, and be polite, you hear me? If you fail, you'll be scrubbing the stables clean until you grow a beard, understood? Understood, master. I'll be back in less than a week. You got my word. All right, off with you. First the dreams, now the crypts. Oh, I can tell this is a bad omen. Oh, it's the big lava monster. It was just a dream. But it might be a dream of what's to come later in the crypts. Nah, silly me. I'm sure it was just a dream. Let's do this. I was just Try to scan around and see what else interesting there was in the yard. Wow, this got horrible very quickly. Maybe we should have not been resting. Maybe we should have been traveling during the day and resting at night because now we get to travel through the world's spookiest forests and, and trails all by spooky, creepy lantern light. I've, I personally think a lantern is spookier than a torch. A torch makes you feel powerful, like you could swing it like a club and do some damage if something came at you. A lantern just casts weird shadows in all directions and, like, has no offensive <laughs> advantages. I think he said something that I missed. Probably just like, ah, the crypts. And here I am, right on time. This place isn't that spooky after all. Oh, look, that must be him, the guardian of the crypts. Should head over, uh, hand over the letter and seek a tavern for the night. Yeah, let's go straight to the taverns and the brothels. No need to worry about, like, a hotel room or anything. We, those are the main priorities I threw in brothel. I, we're on the same wavelength, though. Good evening, sir. Mm, sir? Oh, I wasn't sleeping, I say. What do you want, lad? Pony delivery service at your service, sir. Here, I've got a letter for the guardian of the crypts. Oh, no, 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 I'm no guardian, I just live here. <laughs> just a humble curator. You'll find him a few halls down below. I could take the letter to him, but since you're the courier, you should be the one delivering it. Besides, I'm just, oh, God, so busy, just up to here, I tell you. Just not a, not a second to spare. Busy, you say? Oh, yes, yes, busy. <laughs> now take this key, it'll unlock the display case on the left. You'll need the torch inside it to get to the Guardian. There we go. Torches I'm okay with. Let's get rid of these dumb lanterns. Meanwhile, I'll unlock the doors leading to the crypts. And don't touch anything. If I find anything missing down there, you'll be the sorry one sorry courier. Understood? I wouldn't dare. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, yes. Good. Good, good. Oh, okay. Just chuck it on the ground. I, I mean, you could just, like, hand it to me. Seems like that would be just as easy be helpful for both of us expediate the process a little bit nope just gonna chuck it on the ground sweet thanks for that dude is he just immediately right back to sleep busy he said yeah let's call him out on his shit so now i actually do have health and uh like a measurement of my torch that i need to keep an eye on there's just some really cool ass art seeing like the like lions melt and just <laughs> vomiting the water into the pond Cool ass statue with an unbelievably dark face. Light cannot penetrate. Hmm. Still with the earthquakes though. What the? Uh, I was wondering if we'd be able to see the guard. Like if it would be so, we'd be like so close. Oh my head. What a mess this place is. Hello? Anybody up there? Just your curator, sir? Damn it, should've got his name. <laughs> that lazy old man. No wonder this place is in such disrepair. It's so dark down here, I can barely see. Good thing I got this torch. <laughs> Toggle torch. Oh, it takes a second to light even. It's not even like an immediate thing. A real skeleton? <laughs> Why did they leave it lying out there? As if the day wasn't disturbing enough. I'm gonna keep my torch lit. I don't want to run into a g g g g ghost. <laughs> Wait, what's this? Oh, a big old key. The biggest key. Oh, is that going to be instantaneously required? Okay. That wasn't like uh, an early discovery for some long lost later secret. Oh, my torch is running out so much more quickly than I thought. Just look at her. 
Lady Yidion, goddess of guidance and hope. Well, I, I hope you'll guide me out of the crypt. My father used to tell me stories about sailors who got lost in the storm. Yidion would reveal herself in the form of a bright light guiding them to the shore. Now I wish I were one of those sailors. I could use some of that guidance at this very moment. I don't know if I sh I I found money and also a big old button. <laughs> I like don't know if I should be putting away the torch regularly. Oh wait, did that recharge the torch? I think it actually might have. I, it looks like a mirror on the wall or something. Uh, okay, so I, if I can make it over to the left there, that's where I'm going to access that green key. What was to the left though? Uh, more, more skeletons to rummage through. See, those little graphical glitches are happening all over the place. I gotta look at where the recording software is and see if it's also happening. Finally, some light. I'd better extinguish the torch when I don't need it. Who knows how long it'll take me to find the way out. Okay, I, I don't have to worry about, like, madness or anything, do I? That does recharge the torch some, just not fully. Uh, big spikes. I'm, I'm gonna go wide around those. Oh, that's kind of funny. It introduces me to spikes before introducing me to, like, unavoidable spikes. Ones that you have to just dash through. I'm seeing that floating skull. I'm not too excited about it. I'm gonna light the torch. These stones feel good in my hand. Got a good heft to them. Better take some just in case. Looks fit for rats down here. I don't want to remain empty-handed if I run into one. So I can I can just chuck rocks at this thing. Uh, I'm going to try and bash it. Hmm. I apparently, like, I can't go through the crates. I can't throw a rock at it. I don't think I want to recharge the torch until it's a little bit lower. Otherwise, you're, like, wasting torch. Well, that looks a wee bit tough. Yikes. Okay, I hit the wrong buttons. Wasted a rock. Relics found one out of three. Hey, the spike stop. Oh, that's really nice and forgiving of the game. Okay, I'm gonna extinguish the torch then, and I might as well give it a quick quick extra flare up. I don't know what good all the cash is gonna do, but I'll keep collecting it as soon as long as I find it. Hmm, a puzzle? I love puzzles. Yeah, but, like, most puzzles you play probably don't have the risk of, like, shooting an arrow through your heart or a big boulder crushing your skull. If only I ever solved one. <laughs> I should look, look around for clues. There must be some in this room. So these obviously have to be lit up in a specific order. Or maybe only a, a certain number of them have to be lit up. Uh, maybe... Hmm. <laughs> I thought the, uh... The first real puzzle would have a more obvious clue stashed away somewhere. Oh, I bet you it's either light the ones that match the, the torches, or I was going to say it's the opposite of lighting the, the spaces that match the torches. So yeah, that one was pretty legit. Nice. Okay, that recharged my torch as well. I don't know if I'll be able to, like, only occasionally revisit this spot. Or maybe, maybe this is it. This is crazy. Things are just changing the more I explore. Are those spiders? I've never seen spiders that big. It kind of turns them into like little ladybugs or like just like beetle bugs of some kind. But it's funny that it still calls them spiders because it should it, it should call them beetles or something to de It because right now otherwise people are still drawing that connection, you know. I wonder where they came from. I just hope the flame from the torch will keep them at bay. So, like, I'm wondering if I leave this room, if I'll be cut off from ever coming back to it. It's blocked by rubble. I can't actually go back that way. Ah, more of them are lowering themselves in. And they're still lowering themselves in with spider webs. But, I mean, they are less spidery than most spiders. Okay, okay, you do kill it. It took three to kill it, which feels like quite a lot. And now I'm just wasting even more of them trying to find out whether or not I can light that. 
Can I bait you across the spikes? It doesn't seem like this thing's gonna care. Oh, I definitely lured it though. Bashed him up good. Yeah, but now I kind of have nothing going for me running into this room. <laughs> I just wanted to make a quick getaway. Uh, I, I feel very trapped. Can I deke them out like that? Well done. Oh god, I'm running into a wall that I couldn't see. I'm trying to never use the torch if I don't have to, you know? Be quicker. Oh my god. <laughs> Can they not cross water? Is that my safety? Oh, good. Okay, so I do have a way to kind of protect myself. Oh my god. Oh, ah, ah. I don't know why this one suddenly decided it was real brave. Is the torch not going to do anything for me? Oh my god, why? <laughs> why? Uh, okay, I guess I just gotta run past the spikes then. Oh, shit. I, I wanted to know if there was more stuff over there to explore. I got boxed out from being able to, to inspect very thoroughly. Oh my god, he's still, he's still breaking free. I'm out of ammo. I thought I just, I thought I literally just found more. Maybe it was just gems or something, that I've, or coins. It must have just been more coins. Here we go. Here's some stones. A little bit too late. I'm a little bit anxious of the fact that I uh, was pretty much out of health. I found one relic and zero secrets? That was an entire map? I think the game said it has 20, 20 maps. And I found that little? Into the darkness, secret zero, relics one. Okay, so is this a continuation in some way? Oh, 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 oh. I didn't quite understand exactly what was going on there. So map selection, crypts entrance, or I can go off in the other direction here. I like the way that you're navigating a larger crypts in order to access the different levels of the crypts. Myth the spiders. I kind of want to see what happens if I pop back over to the cave entrance. Or crypts, crypts entrance. And what, what, what even comes before then? Can I go all the way back? But they're just exclamation marks, so it makes me think that it's like, um, cutscenes or story events rather than true levels. So you can, yeah, and, and it's represented by like a little book, The, the Nightmare. You can go back and, and look at those. I wonder if revisiting them has clues for later levels or something like that? I don't want to assume too much or anything. Let's, let's try another level then. I'm trying to make sure I grab any and all rocks that I find. What did I just, what did I just pass through? What happened? Looked like that magic field suppressed the torch. Maybe going through the field again will reverse the effect. So it makes the torch unusable, yet can't, can't activate it. Well, that's, uh, horrifying. Oh god, and there's spiders lowering behind me and everything. We got all kinds of trap combinations to worry about. <laughs> it makes me nervous because I have so little health to to work with. I don't want to take any stupid damage that totally boxes me out from accessing anything later on. I would still love to not run out of the torch, but I would I want to be. Oh, what did I just step on? I want to be a little bit less sparing with it this time around. It seems like it's not. If, if I only, if I am going to recharge it between, like, levels anyways, oh crap, <laughs> then I might be able to get away with quite a lot. I thought I was, like, permanently, the entire game was one giant playthrough that I was having to stock up for. Uh, why are all these beetles, spiders, just hanging out, okay, crap, just hanging out around there like that. Apparently, I shouldn't mess with them. I'm going to take a quick recharge in this torch area. I have a lot of rocks, so I can go a bit more offensive here. But I also... How large are these individual maps? Like, what in the... Crying out loud. How much stuff am I suddenly opening up here? I can't... I can't walk around the lever. Research number 34, red spiders. I can confirm that red specimen of the spiders found, 
found are allergic to magic lights. I've enhanced the flame in the room, and the spider suddenly turned it off with its net. Interesting. Lucius. So that was just like running a mini experiment, just demonstrating that these things will put out light for them by themselves. Well, looks like I have to fight this one. <laughs> kind of cornered myself there. I must have went upstairs. Because this is a, a totally, totally new room layout. Doors are blocked. Oh yeah, it's definitely a staircase, but there's still this off to the side that I have not looked at. I would love to find, like, a secret. That would make me feel like I've accomplished a little something. Hello? No, no ghosts or anything in here I need to worry about? Ooh, magic scroll? Research number 23, spider aggression. All of the spiders are not very aggressive by nature. Hurting them just slightly will make them enraged, attacking everyone they smell nearby. Hmm. I was hoping there'd be a way I could make the spiders fight each other or something like that. What is this egg? Oh, okay, cocoon. Managed to hatch it with light or warmth, probably. Spider eggs. Many reports arrived lately that spider eggs hatch next to a light source. I'm not sure if it's a warmth or brightness that cracks them open. Research number 12 will tell. I asked literally the same questions. I'm as, as knowledgeable as this particular uh, researcher. I just picked like a, an apple off the ground that recovered a tiny bit of health for me. Black spiders, we have noticed, are actually the young ones whose pigments didn't evolve yet. It must be noticed that these hatch spiders are not afraid of light yet, so it makes them very aggressive. Don't get near them. Oh my god, I'm running out of torchlight so rapidly here. I, I, I need to move beyond this little section that I'm in. I guess I probably could have not fought that one. That probably was an option for that particular spider. But that guy's coming right for me, so I gotta, I gotta put him down. And also then I can collect all the gems. That guy's bugging out super hard up there. <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna leave him to it. I don't wanna, I don't see any reason to get in the way of any of that. The shadows are looking for you. What? I thought letting the torch burn out would just be a bad thing in the sense that, oh my god, no torch, no life. That was the achievement. What? I thought it would just be harder to see things and you'd be more likely to succumb to traps and hatching spiders and things. Oh, this is a checkpoint. Okay. That's really cool as well. Uh, I'm, I'm going to like zero use my torch up here. Arachnophobia. Uh, the achievement's probably just for killing a certain amount of these things. I, I'll, I'll quickly see if it, it says. No, it doesn't explain, but I'm guessing it's just for killing ten of them or however many that worked out to. Oh, there's a, there's a little rat down there. The rat is probably what I stepped on before. The scrolls are no longer sparkling. I don't actually have to rediscover the scrolls after a checkpoint. I, I think the game is probably tracking which ones I have and haven't found, and it's not going to make me redo those ones, which I, I appreciate. Can I break crates and stuff? I can. What if I throw more than one rock at it? There's, there's like a two-stage destruction there, so I can keep an eye out for potential secrets that way? That doesn't seem like there's a ton to be discovered there, you know? No, oh, Jesus. Back off, back off. How, hmm. I'm trying to think of how I can get through these without just getting mauled by them. Nah, I mean, that kind of works. It's not a great strategy, but it, it mostly worked. What about the big, the big skull, though? I think <laughs> it's either going to kill me or give me something sweet. So I think I would like, it just counts as a relic. It's just a relic. Man, was the relic I found in the last one also just a skull like that? For whatever reason, I didn't realize that's what I was looking at. Crap, I can't even sneak past that thing at all. I'm going to take a torch recharge and try and blast out of here to a new section. There is a panel here that is connected all the way. Okay, it's connected a far ways away to something. Need a torch flame to light these to lower that, but I've passed through one of those doors that suppresses the torch, so nothing to be done there. <sighs> There's such a long connection here. Oh, I see. This is what it's affecting. 
I didn't realize it was lowering that. I was looking at whatever this trail looks like that it's it, it's following or whatever. Stay away from me, you cretins. Damn it, what a waste trying to bust open those barrels. Oh, 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 here's, here, oh, that's not the one I, I think I found maybe two things that need keys on, on this map or, or level, whatever we're going to refer to it as. Now I actually like can't remember where the other one was. Have I collected the max recharges from this? I oh no 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 it, it keeps generating more. Okay, so as long as you make it back to one of those things, you can like healthily continually recharge your torch, which is good news. This is probably this is the one I needed. Oh, there's something there's like webs here with something underneath it. Oh, just a relic hiding away from me. That one I don't think it was a skull. I think it was different. And that switches me around to here, which I wasn't expecting. Oh, okay. Activating that allows me to control this guy. Easy peasy. Now I can permanently lower that, which pff, don't entirely know what the, the direct use of that is. I can light up a second checkpoint. That's This is also good news for me. Mm, I probably could have broken that crate to have that door be continuously accessible. Kind of got to keep an eye out for these things to, to provide yourself like little mini shortcuts and things to go through. Yeah, now, see, now that door is accessible and it creates a nice, a nice through line for me moving around the map. This is only the second of like 20 levels? This is a massive level. <laughs> like... I feel like I have uh, uncovered so little overall. That was not, there was not a lot to gain from that. I can't sm oh I can, vandalism. I was gonna say, can I smash uh, windows? Oh, vandalism might have been for breaking a certain number of objects, not just specifically breaking that window or a window at all. Oh yeah, okay, because now, now I can walk through here I don't have to go through the torch suppressor. I couldn't even, it didn't immediately occur to me what the difference was. Okay, I gotcha. There is the other key down here, probably. Oh, is that gold showing me that this is the one that needs the gold key? That's what I'm supposed to read into there. Heaps of cash, a big bag. Oh, a, <laughs> a big firebomb. No, I don't think I want to use that immediately. I've still not even done this level. The levels in this game are massive. Which is, like, impressive. Give me a second here. Okay, the game the game is, like, $20. But if there's 20 levels and the average time to complete a level is, like, half an hour or more, that's based on the fact that I'm on, like, the second level. Levels might start taking a lot longer and a lot more attempts to, like, figure out. So if puzzle games are, like, really your thing, I think this game is going to offer you up an insane amount of content. Shit. I want to turn the torch off so that I don't... Oh, God. So that I don't uh, hatch those eggs as I walk by. That was sweet, trickster. Oh, but then I also got smashed. <laughs> That's really cool. I had already kind of half attempted that. I wanted to try and walk that spider across a beetle. Call him a beetle. I, I wanted to walk him across that spike pit before, and I hadn't figured that out. I hadn't, like, managed to, to do that. And so now, now I know, though, that you can absolutely smush things using the environment, so I like that a lot. Oh, this looks like it has the potential to be, like, the end of the level. But I don't want that. I want to go up to that top area. I want to try and access this big chest, but... I cannot see how. Well, let's just try and throw this for like shits and gigs to see what happens. <laughs> try and blow up an egg. That was fun. Maybe I have to hatch this. Look, if I hatch it, is there something in it or behind it? Oh yeah, so he's the newly hatched one, so he's black, so he doesn't have uh, specific mannerisms yet. It's just the full on like aggression type enemy when it first hatches. Oh, there's got to be like a lever or something for that. 
this like section of the map is not that large. There's not a lot to see or miss, you know? I feel like I just kind of have to carry on. Map finished, secrets zero. Relics two out of three. Man, I am not a good secret seeker. And moving along, we have the reservoir. I assume these levels are going to become increasingly long, and I just wanted to give like a quick look at the game, so I don't think I'm going to start a new level. I think I'm going to go back to the first level and try and do some like secret hunting a little bit. Like see if there's, see what I could have missed, you know? I maybe have a better sense for what can be broken, what can be interacted with, what uh, opportunities that might present. I never made it into this room previously. I don't think I did. Do you know what? This one has like light coming through it, which makes me think that there's something on the other side. Ah, <sighs> that made sense to me. Oh, breaking. I thought this thing was going to attack me, so that's why I never went and retrieved it before. That's a pretty easy one. I, it does remember what like relics I found. You don't have to make sure you collect all three when you go and do a repeated run. You, you like carry it over and it remembers that, ah, yes, you have found one before. Here's something here that I haven't made it through either. Off to the right, I never went up this way. So what is this? Journal entry one. Ah, achievement unlocked a piece of history. Something's not right down here. I can feel it for a while now. My soul is getting heavier, and other brothers are acting strange lately as well. I can't stay here any longer. I'm leaving now. I'm sorry. De guard. Oh, flip the page. I almost forgot. If someone sane enough finds this letter, go to the colored glass with a cross on it and break it. You will find something that I left behind. I did break it already, I think. <laughs> I, uh, I, I went out this way. That's cool that, like, I don't know if that counts as a secret. Can I, I, I don't think I can, like, look at my secret progress. Uh, I thought I broke this. Oh, shit. I broke it and didn't even try and walk through it. Okay, so there's a secret found. That opens up this over here. Is all of this still counting? That all that chain of different things counts as one secret. And so through that you receive, oh, just heaps and heaps of cash and more throwing devices. That still doesn't help us with gaining access here. So there's still like, I think there was like three achievement or three secrets at least on this floor. So like, I'm still left with a lot left to uh, attempt to uncover here. These are like the neutral patrolling ones. If you leave them alone, they don't attack you. Is that simple to deal with? This, this guy? Yeah, okay. If I don't do anything, I think they're just going to stick to themselves. Whoa, okay. There's just a, a thing off to the right hand side here. Uh, third relic found. That counts as a secret? How did I, but how did I miss it before? Maybe it's just a matter of coming here later in the game. Maybe re-exploring areas that you've already been to. Like, more things are going to unveil themselves as you move through the level. See, and I still never even figured out how to gain access to that one very specific spot. Can I let... Okay, I was seeing if I could let that guy free from there. Oh, it looked like for sure there was something to go across there. I, there's also this pit. Is there like something on the other side that I can't see that I have to try and hit? Nothing there. <sighs> this seems like something too, but that, that one looks like it's most likely to be a dead end. I, I kind of think I need to go back this way. Damn it. At least there's an apple here I can grab. Uh, the ooze, the water coming out of there. It looks like it has a little bit of a purple hue. That might just be the lighting in the area. Can I crawl down this way? Yes. Okay. Okay. So that counts as a secret and it was just, uh, just a pile of cash. There are Possibly like, oh my god, possibly red herrings all over, like things that look like they would be secrets that actually aren't. Ooh, <laughs> I kind of flirted with the timing there a lot. 
one of the old, probably for finding all the, the relics. Oh, and there was still a secret aid to find. Jesus. <laughs> so it's still, I only get a four skull rating on that one. But I have a ton of cash. I just don't even know what the hell the cash is for. And there is an achievement screen where you can see very particularly what it takes to uh, just ironically like one of the only ones that doesn't have a descriptor explaining how to unlock it is arachnophobia and that happened to be the one i looked at to see whether or not it gave descriptions but like pretty much all these other ones it gives you an idea and there's i think a few other exceptions but mostly it tells you how you can achieve these. There you have it for for now. That's that's where I'm leaving uh, Courier of the Crypts. Probably gonna leave it as a one-off, but I'm very impressed in a very short amount of time with like the amount of content that this game has on display and like the replayability. Because obviously the, your initial run through, you're just like, well, let's get the one skull, just try and reach the end and just like call it good. Uh, but you can repeatedly keep coming back and digging further and further and deeper and deeper and even then going like as slow as I could methodically going through everything I could not find at all. The only reason I'm opening this, opening this up one last time is I want to... This changed. There isn't anything to see there. It's only by revisiting it later in the level that you can find that secret. So that's nuts. That alone gives you a sense of like... For, the game was 20 bucks, but like you're gonna have a ton to do in this game Especially if you're the type of person who really wants to like Explore every corner and find every secret. I think this is a great game. I would Gladly recommend it to any puzzle fanatics because I, I Truly truly do love what they have going on here. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I'll see you again soon